What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player playing Risk Global Domination on PC. I have a daily release schedule on YouTube. I do Fix Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. For today's episode, we are playing the 36th game in our Rank Up series, where we will be taking my girl Chiquita Grinface all the way from novice to grandmaster on a brand new account. Unfiltered in lobby looks like we are starting with a five-player game because the first player didn't ready up, so we have an expert AI in the first position. Uh, settings for this game, one of my favorite maps, I have a 98-ish percent win rate playing Spaceport, so Sigma ranked on these settings. 60 second turns, auto setup, world domination, progressive cards. Um, alliances and Fogger and Blizzards are off. And as I said, I'm in position five. First position, we have an expert AI. Second position, we have GP flying the flag of Finland with six hours played, four wins. 15 losses in position three the red player is sebastian uh what is that flag bolivia one hour played with no wins one loss he aggressively takes the plus four in the top left in position four we have agent p from portugal with 74 hours played and okay a 30 plus percent win rate 52 to 91 watch the fuck out for white White can kill me. Okay. Good to know. White's going to start there. Hit some bot, get some bad rolls. Okay. We're not ter terribly worried about the white player yet. I'm next to act, so I kind of want to conquer this side of the board. So what I'm going to do on my first turn is I'm going to get a string of three singles and go back to the position I started. So I'm going to be sitting with five troops coming in at the beginning of the next turn. I have 19 troops. If we have 18, we get six. If we have 15, we get five. So it'll be something close to a 10 next turn to run that way. If the bot decides to put in, the bot can clear out some of this. I lose maybe one territory, but then hopefully we have a string of singles and I can punch the bot out of my corner. And then I'll control the side of the map. And as you guys will see with Spaceport Sigma, um, these three center chokes are essential to controlling this board. So the bonuses work. Let me just finish the, the players. The final player is Leland Schwang. Uh, flying the flag of Zambia. 77 hours played with 70 wins and 110 losses. I think he does 1v1s. Um, okay, so here's how the bonuses work in Spaceport. You have Expedition Command and Capital Attack each worth 6. Terminal A, Terminal B, Command Tower each worth 6. The three launch pads are worth 4. Mari Nubium Station is worth 4. And High Bay Warehouses are worth 8. If you can hold it. This is a Rampage bot. And it's a Rampage bot inside of the territory I'm trying to control. Orange is contesting white in the bottom left. And orange moves fast. Red's going to take this bonus. White's in big trouble. I don't even have to worry about white. They've been smashed to shit. I have 17... At least, at least I don't have to worry about them right now. I have 17 troops. I'm going to be getting 5. Situation with the Rampage bot is the Rampage bot is going to add to the 6 and it's going to go 1, 2, 3. It's going to try and attack in a straight line. Can I try and push it in a different direction by opening the six? I'm going to try this, and I actually don't know if it'll work, but I'm curious to see if it will. So I'm going to try something experimental. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two troops here. Um, 3B, 3v1 is 89% in balance blitz. Um... If I get a good roll on the two, yeah. So what I what I what I'm trying to test right now is to see if I can push that six in the opposite direction. 
maybe the yellow bot just adds to the six and hits my seven and I lose the game, but I'm, I'm interested to see if I can control this bot like that. Okay, I have no exterior position left in high bay warehouse. Purple is trying to take it. Aggressively taking territory. Purple's doing quite well. 20 territories and 28 troops. Alright, putting on the 5. So it'll, it's going to roll a 10 v, er, 11 v 7, right? I just lose my 7? No, I pushed it the other way. Fuck yeah, man. Okay, so it's going to hit that one. Now, where does it go? Because it could go up here and get the fuck out, which was my real... No. Alright. Well, we got one of two. <laughs> <laughs> we got one of two possibilities. I still have a bot inside my bonus, and the bot isn't going to be going anywhere else. Orange aggressively takes the bottom left. Red holds. Mari Nubium Station. Okay, so what the bot's going to do on its next turn is it's going to run into here. So what I want to do is I want to go attack, attack, and put my stack in the center and then run around it again. Basically, um, as long as the bot doesn't hit my pos my main position, um, I'll probably end up with the Monopoly on, on the kill on it when the time is right, and I won't threaten anyone to break me because I'm fighting my own little fight in this corner. I'm, I'm okay with how this game is, is shaping up. Um, so I'm gonna get two attacks. I'm gonna go up through here and into the center of the launch pad and then I'm going to pull my 7 into my 3 and fully expect the bot to go this way and finish the bonus. And then I run around the outside of it again. Maybe try and push it into another bonus or kill it when the time is right. I have 29 troops, troops to 22 and it matches before me. White player down to 14. This is a good thing because they would be the person I'd be scared about. Purple is hyper aggressive, holding 30 troops with 21 territories. White is in two positions. Orange is going to finish this bonus. Okay, so bot adds, bot sets and adds. Okay, so bot's going to finish this bonus most likely. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> fuck sakes. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta get the fuck out of here. Yep. Okay. Okay, so I go one, two, three. I, I hit it as much in this direction as possible. Hoping that it goes either this way or that way instead of back into the bonus and then we do the ring around the rosy thing again. Red's looking real strong with 19 stack. He's going to fuck up purple shit. And nobody's stopping orange from holding the plus six. So yeah, it's, it's looking quite bad for me now. Um, the game is progressing in a way that at least... I'll survive to trades? How many trades, though, is the question. You really do need your bonuses in Spaceport. So having a bot inside of mine didn't work. I tried what I could have tried to get it out, but seeing as how it's that type of bot, this bot is just going to punch in a straight line. Okay, White feebly tries to hold a bonus. I think Orange is going to fucking absolutely break this man's heart by adding here and smashing. Do I leave? Do I let the bot get strong in the corner? That's the other way to play it. I can do a bunch of things. I can go multi-positional. Like ideally, I want to set myself up to kill somebody. I think I'm fine to let the bot hold a bonus. Okay. 
Purple down to 16, white down to 16. I'm looking a little bit better, but compared to orange and red, I am one of the have-nots in this game. I fully expect, um, okay, so I expect the bot to add to the 9 and go 1, 2, 3. It could still hit my 10. <laughs> then I totally lose this game. But we tried something new. Okay. Lane of Least Resistance. Yep. Keep going. Yep. And now the bot is out of my bonus. Okay. Where does it go? It says there. It's only going to get one attack next turn. It's going to only get one attack next turn unless somebody opens it. Okay, orange is not going to break white. Unexpected. And he skips. Orange is good. Orange is very good. Six hours. This must be a new account. Neither of these guys are going to break White's bonus. Surprising. And Red is just hammering Purple. Can I kill Purple for his cards? Okay, White gets to set. I mean, I'm obviously going to lock White in between these two guys and get him eaten. <laughs> he skips as well. I'll feed you. I'll feed you. Yeah, I'll feed you to these guys then. Yeah, he... Okay, smart. Exterior position. This game's going well so far. Can I kill purple? And is it worth it? I don't have a set. No, I can't kill purple. That answers that fucking question. Um, <laughs> fuck's sakes, man. take up some space from the bot offending nobody can't kill purple not gonna bother trying purple sets on four no red's gonna get the kill on purple and we're seeing so much good neighbor too we're seeing no retaliatory strikes no breaks this is not the type of spaceport sigma game i was expecting to play okay He's trying to run. He's trying to run. He says, please, Red, don't kill. Red's going to kill you, dude. Okay. Bot gets, puts all there. Then where does the stack go? I hope the stack goes up there. Possible it goes here. There? Okay, so that goes one, two, into me. We don't want this army running back into me. Orange getting 12. Orange probably could skip again. <laughs> Smart to keep the sets on. No, orange sets now. So he skipped to not... Oh, he's going to kill. Right. He's going to get the five cards. He's going to set it twice. Orange gets the kill on purple. And then points. Ooh. Nope. Orange fails the kill on purple. And feeds it to red. <laughs> red gets the easy five cards. At least the sets are going up. My set's going to be high. It's going to be like the 12 or the 15. I won't be able to make a kill on the first set sequence. Hopefully I can make a kill on the second. I get it in three cards. That would be the ideal scenario. All right. Red sets in with the eight. Who's he lining himself up to kill? He's lining himself up to kill white, I think, now. Gonna kill 25 troops to get the 10? That's fine by me. That's net negative. No, he's not. He's gonna hit orange. <laughs> okay. Good game. <laughs> yeah, that's why you don't skip, bro. And fail kills. Okay, orange is fucked. Red wins this game unless we can do something about it. Yeah, red goes bad neighbor, breaks everybody. White has a five trade. Let's see if white punches red. Exciting, exciting moment. I would worry about white too. 
But I'm all the way over here in my little corner, so... White does not know what to do. I think the only thing you do is you punch red. Six goes up, break, break, and pulls back, I think. Or does he try and push through the 12? No, he doesn't open. Okay. White is trying to do a two-position strategy. I set in and get the 15. I'm going to lock my troops inside myself for a turn, which I always recommend you guys don't do, but I'm trying to stay out of the way and finally establish a position. Bot's going to go one, two, three, and then hopefully see my threes and go up, and then I'll finally have the bot out of my corner. Oh no, not with a 20 trade. Oh no, that bot is going to fuck up my shit. No. No, go up, go up, go up. Please go up. Hit orange. Hit orange. Hit orange. Hit orange. Hit orange. Hit orange. Yes! Ha! Ah, get fucked! <laughs> Alright. Orange is in big fucking trouble. They're gonna get a third card. If they remove red actually from here, then red has to punch through. No, red can go around. It's still the correct thing for them to do. Red's gonna set in with five troops. Okay, get, all right, 21 Natch, the set is 25, I don't have a trade. Okay, I'm in big fucking trouble. <sighs> He's not killing Orange? He's killing white. It's a worse deal. Okay, red kills white. Then what happens? Uh, then red kills orange. Yeah, this is a sweep game for red. I get second, at least. But I can't beat him. Maybe he fails to kill on orange. Orange sets. That's the only hope at this point. Maybe he fails to kill on the bot. Yeah, it looks like he's going to fuck up the kill on orange. I don't really quite feed it to me, though. I have to get through that seven. Doesn't even kill orange. Okay, well, with orange still alive... I don't have to do t anything too brazen. Um, I can just cock up with a really big stack and sit for a turn. And I will trade on four, and I think I think we're still in this game. Red is cleaning up orange now. What's the set? 
35. Oh, Jesus Christ, I don't have a set on four. <sighs> well, it looks like I'm getting second this game. No set on four. I'm fucked! Yep, the kill orange set in. Maybe they fail to kill the bot. That's the only chance. Fail to kill the bot, feed it to me. This is my only chance now. Red has to fail kill. Let's see if they let's see if they do it. No, they hit me. Sure. Makes way more sense. Why well, fuck with the bot? I get second. And that's game. Red player fucked up his pathing, but it doesn't matter because I don't have a set on four. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. But we lose again. 28 and 8. So we have one bot. And we'll see what the ranks are. Yeah, red player is absolutely invincible. There will be no stopping him. Kills me, kills the bot. Unless he blocks the stack again, could happen. Kills me first, wide, wise decision. What is this man's plan? Okay, well, I guess I'm still alive. You are running out of time, go quicker. You're running out of time. Go quicker. He's got me just in the nick of time, though. Just in the nick of time, though. Did you hear that heartbeat? All right. So, um, <laughs> it's funny, eh? Defeating a master, master, and a beginner, and losing to a novice. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I do Fixed Friday every Friday. I do the Waiting on Your Best Behavior podcast, and I stream on Twitch as often as I can. And until next time, for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.